much. Oh uh, yeah, just go through some up and down, you know, refreshment. And I feel like every refreshment goes up and down, so I feel like that's what I pretty much expected. What were the ups? Uh, just playing the ACC, you know, finally getting to college, playing the ACC, beginning of the season, I feel like I played pretty well. And towards the end of the season, it started to slow down for me. So going through, you know, the freshman wall and the different situations. Yeah, what do you think exactly kind of ran, forced you to run into that wall? What was it that contributed to maybe the slowdown, so to speak? Uh, just, just, you know, better competition. Yeah. Like better competition in the ACC, you know, really tough. Or just uh, learning more, mm -hmm. pretty much it. So. And as a, I imagine as the minutes get cut back, it makes it harder for you to yeah, get I mean, it over them. Yeah, the minutes get cut back, you start, you know, Play mind tricks with you and stuff like that, so it's kind of kind of mess with you. So that was pretty much it too. I know in a lot of the sports, at the end of the year, the coach sits down with the players and says, "This is what I want you to work on." Does coach you do that with you guys? Oh yeah, we sat down and talked over summer, and he told me things I need to improve, and I fly up working all summer, working hard all summer, and those improvements. So what were those well, things? Uh, just you know, mirroring the game, watching more film, just becoming a better player. Uh, you look like you've gotten stronger. Have you been in the weight room a lot? Uh, yeah, I've been in the weight room. You know, the ACC is a tough. It's tough. So <laughs> I feel like you you got to get an ACC body to be prepared to play. You get the Dukes, the Carolinas, the Wakes, you know, tough team. How much weight have you put on? Uh, I think I put on like around seven pounds. Seven pounds? So like, like five, around like five or seven. And, and how much body fat have you dropped? Uh, I'm not sure. I'm not as... Mm, I don't know, my body's in good condition, good shape, so feel good. How, oh, I'm sorry, go ahead. I was just going to say, how did the run last year with you guys, particularly at the end, breezing into the, uh, the ACC tournament, making the NCAA tournament as a freshman, how did that prepare you guys uh, going forward now? I mean, year or two for you? you know, first year making it to the ACC tournament, I feel like I was good, I mean, the NCAA tournament, I feel like it's a good accomplishment. It's like, now it's just, I don't want to get there my freshman year, but don't get there my sophomore, mm -hmm. junior, and senior year. So it's like you gotta work even more, even, even much harder, mm -hmm. so you can get there every year. So it was fun. And they gonna run the ACC tournament, playing every, each and every night. It was run. It was yeah. fun. We've heard a lot of talk about uh, maybe a different type of team this year, losing the two big men. Uh, we've heard a lot of talk also about the condition. Can you talk a little bit about what you guys been doing to prepare for this season? Uh, a lot of running, <laughs> a lot of running. Why? Because we want to be in tip top shape. Like you said, uh, we lost two big men, Gunny and Derek. But hey, we're gonna be a little small this year, so we got to be in tip top shape, and we gotta be tough. We gotta be able to defend. How's the uh, the installation of the the motion, come on, the motion offense that you know, the elements that the jar to put in? Does that work well during the summer? Oh uh, yeah, it worked well during the summer. I mean, we just play a lot of pickup, you know. A lot of up and down, fast pace running. So, who's been leading the group? Who's been talking to the different players about you need to be here, need to be here? Uh, to here? The point guards. I mean, you, me, Iman, Lance, Mo. We all been just leading. Just like basically, we're not a young team anymore because you got older guys. So, but we're pretty much veteran team. Yeah, kind of speaking about the minutes last year, uh, the way obviously the, the balance was you know, up and down for you and some of the other guards. How's that going to help this year where you guys are going to be using so many more guards, so to speak? Uh, uh -huh. I guess you guys will have more of a three-man guard. I thought floor. it was going to be cool because, I mean, we all can get after it. So, I mean, one get tired, the next one come in. One, somebody will get tired, the next one come in. So it's going to be a good little rotation. And what year were you born? 1990. So you didn't get to watch any of those Illinois teams that Hewitt says he thinks y'all are going to be like this uh, year. No, nah, the other team I don't know. <laughs> I remember is Steve Brown, Darren Williams. Yeah, yeah these are the team. Yeah, that's, yeah. that's what I remember. The late 80s and early 90s that were all 6'4", six, 6'9", six, and just run up and down the court. Yeah. Kind of like UNLV all the time ago. I mean, dude, this has got to be in great shape. The best shape we've ever been in, pretty much. We want to compete, so. What about some of the new guys like Cam that didn't get a chance to play last year? Daniel, how are they looking? Oh, they're looking real good. You know, Cam, after ACL injury, he's looking better now. I expect he's going to look. You know, he came back. I feel like he needs even more stronger. I mean, with ACL injury, you're going to have your, your days mm -hmm. when it's going. You can see some pain and whatnot. But for the most part, he came on pretty good. 
And Daniel, you know, he's, he, I feel like by him sitting out and redshirting, I mean, it helped him a lot because he's, he's gotten way more tougher than he was when he first came in here. Who's been the biggest surprise? Uh, Camion. Camion has by when he, I didn't know he come back as strong as he did. You know, okay. pick up Ron and stuff like that. So he's been working really hard. Talk to some of the coaches about uh, the new players, uh, Mars. And they've said he's a, a real athletic type player. So I guess that's going to fit in pretty well with you guys. Yeah, he's real athletic. He has great size. He can defend. So he's going to be, be, be all right. What advice have you given him about what he's going to experience this season? Uh, just to stay focused. You know, it's, it's a long season. Mm -hmm. It's different from high school because every game is intense and every game counts. Mm -hmm. You got to value your possessions. Because in high school, you know, we went up and down. Mm -hmm. We can we was bigger than everybody. So it's like in college, everybody's your size. So mm -hmm. um, just stay focused. and It's going to be fun. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to be fun. Since you guys are... Uh, no longer a young team now. You guys have a little more experience. Who are some of the leaders uh, to watch out for this coming season? Uh, our two seniors, Glenn Storrs and Mo Mill, uh, Miller. They are they are captains for right now. But you know we got captains like me and the Shump. We both mm -hmm. the leaders. Mm -hmm. Gear by mine right for the game. Things of that nature. Always talking. Have you talked to Derek since he left? Oh yeah, we talked to him a long time. Did you give me advice on how to spend that, uh, spend that contract? No, I ain't giving no advice. <laughs> <laughs> he, 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 he is spending well. <laughs> He's not a real flashy guy. So <laughs> <laughs> what about Ghani? You guys kept in contact? Yeah, right? Ghani same way. They both keep in contact on and off campus during summertime. You know, they come back all the time. So it's good to have a relationship with those two guys. You have a, a new coach on the staff now. Replacing Coach O'Connor, have you had a chance to to uh, get together with him at all? Oh yeah, we talk, we talk. Coach O'Connor comes is a real good coach. I mean, he's very high energy type of guy, so that's, that's a good thing. Just like Coach, oh, he's a high energy type of guy. So by him leaving and Coach McCullum coming in, the same type of energy I feel like he's bringing is a, is a, is a good replacement. He gets after it pretty good. Huh? Yeah, he gets after it. So did all the stuff with uh, Hewitt after the season with the uh, um, rumored. Uh, coaching availability, did that affect y'all, even though it was after the season, is that something that y'all talked about a lot? We didn't, we didn't talk about it. We didn't pay no mind. I um, mean, we just, we just going to make, I mean, the best decision. So, I mean, we really didn't, we didn't, we didn't talk about it, really. I mean, is that part of, part of the reason because of that is that you guys just thought that, you know, he was going to stay regardless? Yeah, yeah, we, we didn't, we didn't pay no mind. To be honest with you, we didn't pay no mind. What do you want to see when, uh, Alexander Royal Coliseum gets renovated. As a player, what would you like to have added to the arena? Uh, it don't matter. I just want all the fans to be there. <laughs> <laughs> I, just want, I, just want people, I just want everybody to be there to show a lot of support. I'm going to sit there in Atlanta and everybody just to come out and just watch us play. What a good media worker. <laughs> Well, they just shortened it, that's all. I mean, it's nice, but no one's better than you right now. So uh, what, have you, what have you worked on most this offseason? What, what have your jump shot, uh, defense? Uh, a lot of footwork, a lot of stretching. Did a lot of footwork, Drew, a lot of stretching. Did, took a yoga class, oh, and I thought that helped me out a lot, you know, my flexibility and whatnot. And, yeah, a lot of shooting. So what's your favorite yoga position? Not down with fresh dog. <laughs> yeah, but, uh... <laughs> <laughs> Say that, that's one dog? The downward facing dog. Downward facing dog. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. It's, it's, it's a yoga position. Like you just keep constantly going over and over and it gets tiring. So, um, My favorite position is at the end when we get the close eye. <laughs> so that's my favorite position. Oh, that's pretty good. <laughs> that's pretty good. That's it for me. Yeah. Thanks, man. Pick up Don't go anywhere. Right here. Right here. Thanks, Steve. It was nice speaking, man. All right. Thank you. Good luck. Good talk to you, man. Yeah. Stop keep waiting. Stop keep waiting. Hi, guys. How are you doing?